I think Are you going to do the ask poll right now? Yeah, I think it leads perfectly to one of our old favorite segments that we like to call Ask Hole, where we ask a difficult question, put put our our partner on the opposite side of the camera here on uh, on in a difficult position. Oh, yeah. Oof. Unprepared, I did not tell you what this question was. You're right, welcome well, to ask me these difficult questions anytime you would like about my favorite teams. But oh, you know I do. In light of these moves or non-moves for the White Sox, how, can you say that the 2022 White Sox are actually better than the 2021 White Sox? Uh, I can because I think their young players are going to be a yet another year better and another year seasoned and. I can tell you that's what the Sox are banking on. That's yeah. why the Sox did not maybe want to spend for whatever reason. And I was wrong. I just a little caveat update from last week. I looked it up. I, I swear someone said the Sox were at 208, but they're actually at 183 million. So they had plenty of room if they wanted to sign a uh, Trevor Story. But 50 um, million. Um, they. Um, you know, they, they did not go that route, and um, but I also think they're not terribly concerned with, like, I, I feel like if they were going to sign someone to that length of a deal, they were beginning going after someone a little bit younger. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe same exact stats, but just a little bit younger. Uh, that seems to be how they operate. Um so if his asking price, I think the length of the contract more so than the money would have been the issue for the White Sox. But yeah. I I do think they will be better. I think they'll be better right off the bat as long as they can leave spring training healthy. I mean, I think right away that changes yeah. the complexion of the team. Um, you know, they basically they basically survived and survived quite well without key components until the end of the season. And now, barring any unforeseen injuries, they're going to have all those components in place from day one. And that changes things dramatically. I think you're right. I think that is exactly how the White Sox are looking at it. Because if you look, they've kind of just shuffled things around, uh, you know, with losing Rodon, but you've got Kopech going into the rotation, but then you have to fill, backfill the the bullpen, which you've done uh, quite quite well with Graverman and Joe Kelly. Um but it it feels like you haven't taken huge steps um, to to improve improve the roster. But like you said, if current trends continue with your young players, that that could fill that and, and be the improvement you're looking for. That's assuming progress is linear. There are no regressions. Uh, th that's it's an optimistic viewpoint. I don't think it's unrealistic necessarily, but I think it is optimistic. Um, I guess that's just where I was coming. From. I think you answered the answered my asshole -ish question quite well without knowing you probably knew what I was going to ask before, before we got there, but yeah, I, there's a myriad of things you could have asked because of how the off season went. So I just didn't know which one it was going to be. The other thing is you're not done. I mean, you, you, I think, you know, Michael Conforto is still out there there. I think you're gonna, still going to add somebody to your rotation, a fifth starter somehow in free agency. So um, I don't know if that'll be of major consequence considering the name's still out there, but that that would be another way to to shoot my my dumb question down. But thanks for playing along. I appreciate it. Hey, anytime, man. Anytime.